We don't have a kettle yet, so old school boiling water it is. He should know that's my iced coffee cup. I really don't know how to go through with it. Bottomless oysters and prosecco. Good morning and welcome back to my channel. My name is Riley Lane and in today's video, we're doing a weekly vlog. I don't know about you, but weekly vlogs are literally my favorite videos to watch and I've got a few things on this week, so I thought, Let's do a weekly vlog. It's Monday morning, bright and early, it's about 6 a.m. I am up and ready to go to the gym. I am going to force myself to eat some rice cakes because I really hate eating this early, but a lot of the time when I don't, I get really faint during my workouts and I get really hungry. So I need to eat. I know my body needs it for me in about 45 minutes. So I'm going to do that. We're gonna hit a lower body booty kind of session. Yeah, I'm just really excited for this week to be honest. The weather is absolutely amazing. It actually feels like it's gotten to summer and this is honestly just where I flourish. I, as soon as the sun comes out, I am just like honestly three million times happier. So <laughs> let's go to the gym and have a good week. breakfast time now I don't know when I got back from the gym I was really hungry but it was really hot so I was like I don't know what I want so I just had a bowl of Cheerios and now I feel like I've had a half breakfast and now I need to have a second half breakfast so I think I'm just gonna have I don't know, you know when it's so hot and then you're like I'm really hungry but I just can't think of what I want because most of the things I would eat for breakfast are hot but I don't want them right now so I think I'm just gonna have an English muffin yeah I don't know I have increased my calories again this week, so they're pretty high, I would say. Well, definitely I feel like they're high. I never thought that I would be able to eat this much and still be like maintaining my weight. I haven't even gained weight. I've actually lost weight over the past two weeks, which is just crazy. So they are up again by 100 calories this week. So I really need to make sure that I'm like planning out my food and getting them in because it is so easy to just like not eat enough during the day and then it gets to the end of the day and I'm like, oh my God, I have to have like a massive dinner and then like something after dinner as well. So I've kind of planned out my day. I think in the afternoon, I'm going to make a yummy smoothie bowl, smoothie bowl type ice creamy, protein ice creamy thing with like granola and, and that's like a nice summery meal. And so I think I'm just going to have an English muffin now. Anyways, I'm rambling but I just wanted to bring you into my kitchen. I need to set up a little, I've, right now I've got you on two Tupperware containers because my dry boards are not high enough, but we'll work that out. We just went out for a walk at lunchtime and I mean, just to get steps in, not to intentionally go shopping. I got a new pair of shoes. <laughs> we walked past JD Sports and Connor was like, do you want to go in? And I was like, yeah, we can have a look. I have new shoes. Okay, to be fair, they were on sale and they're so cute. So they're, they're like those classic filler shoes. So I already do have these in um, white with like pink trim. <laughs> so I just got the same shoe, but how cute is this like black and white kind of leopard print? And there's a little bit on the back. They're only 45 pounds. So they're mine now. <laughs> you can never have too many white trainers, can you? I just got another exciting delivery, a hairdryer. I have lived in London for almost three years and I have not owned my own hairdryer this whole time. <laughs> I've just always lived with someone who's had a hairdryer. So I've always just used theirs. No. I washed my hair on the weekend and I, did, I had to let it hair dry and I was like, oh, this is the worst thing ever. You know when like, cause my hair is so long it like covers my whole back and my back was like soaking wet. I was like, we can't do this. We're getting a hairdryer. It's not anything special. I just literally got like the best rated one on Amazon. It's from Remington. Perfect. Literally so simple. There we go. New hairdryer. Now I don't have to have
I'm soaking wet hair. And also I feel like my hair, I never straighten my hair because it's very naturally straight, but it just gets like weird kinks in it when it dries naturally. Can you see that? So it's just so much nicer using hair dryer. Now we have one. <laughs> how amazing the sun is in the morning in our new flat and so I just come here and I just like sit in the sun and it's on my desk like all morning it's amazing today is Tuesday like I said so no gym for me I have cheerleading training tonight and when we first went back to cheerleading for some reason in my mind I didn't like class it as like a training session or like a workout because I wasn't going to the gym so I was going to the gym on Tuesday mornings like doing a really hard weightlifting session and then going to training at night for two and a half hours like we train for two and a half hours it's so long and my body was just honestly like dead I could just feel the fatigue like my cheerleading sessions were so hard so I'm forcing myself to not go to the gym on the same day I do cheerleading because it's just too much for my body and like, it's just so funny because I found a way to work out and I love going to the gym and lifting heavy weights. Like, I honestly, I could easily go to the gym right now. Like, I just love it so much. And I have to literally force myself to be like, no, Riley, you can't go to the gym today because, you know, it will be, it's just not good for you. So we're taking a day off from the gym and I do have training tonight. So that's what I'm doing. Um, I couldn't decide if I was going to go out for a walk this morning or I think I'm not going to. I think I'm going to wait till lunch because it'll be a bit warmer then. I don't want to enjoy the sun. And right now I think I'm just going to do some of my new nutrition course. I'm so close to finishing it. And you know when you're like so close to the end of something that it just feels like it's taking forever. I hopefully should be finished like next week I think. So I think I'm just going to sit down, smash out a module of that. Probably make a coffee. And that'll be my Tuesday morning. We don't have a kettle yet, so old school boiling water it is. Guys, honestly, I am 25 years old and I am petrified of needles. We just got told that we could, uh, people from 25 now can get the vaccination and I literally just had a breakdown thinking about thinking about trying to book it. I was literally crying. I had to go to Connor. He had to like comfort me. I was like shaking. I, I generally, I have not had a needle since I was like probably like 16, 17 in high school. And I like fainted and passed out and had to go home. And I have not had a needle since then. I have never had a blood test in my life. I've never had another vaccine or anything like that. So it's like so built up in my mind and I'm literally so scared. <laughs> I really don't know how I'm gonna go through with it. But like, I have to. God. Okay, so you think because I'm Australian, I would have discovered this before. And obviously our weather is really, really hot in Australia. But like, frozen fruit as a snack is just honestly insane. I genuinely have never eaten frozen fruit as a snack and I don't know why. So tonight's after, tonight? It's not night time yet, it's afternoon. <laughs> Today's afternoon snack is frozen fruit and then I think I'm going to put a little bit of like sugar-free syrup on it. Summer fruits, which is strawberries, blackberries, red currants, black currant, blueberries, rust, and then also just plain blueberries. Oh my god, yum. So I really want to buy an air fryer. I don't know why. Connor got this in my mind the other day. But he was like, 
have you ever heard of an air fryer? And I was like, of course I've heard of an air fryer. I feel like every man and his dog has an air fryer in Australia. Like they all get them ones from Kmart. But like, it's, I don't know. I feel like I don't know as many people with an air fryer here. And in our new flat, we have quite an old oven thing. And we bought all these trays and the trays don't even fit in the oven. Like that's how small it is. So I was like, I actually think I would use an air fryer a lot in this flat because the oven just isn't really that good. So I'm trying to look at air fryers, but you know, there's no Kmart here. I can't just go to Kmart and buy an air fryer. So I don't know, like what's a good one? How do you know? And like how big? Because it's like all different sizes. And you know, some of them are saying for like one to two people. And me and Connor obviously are just one to two people. But I never normally just cook one to two portions of food. Like I always cook four portions. So I feel like that's basically like a family size. Is that how it works? I'm not sure, but I really want one now. He's literally got it in my head and I'm like, I need an air fryer. So I'm on Amazon. I think, I think I'm just gonna buy one. The last second problem is I don't know where it's gonna fit in our kitchen because we don't have a lot of bench space and we already need, we don't have a microwave and a kettle. We're probably getting them like this week, next week. And they need to take up bench space. So yeah, I don't know, but I just really want an air fryer. So I'm probably gonna get an air fryer. We are... Well, I'm getting ready for training now and Connor's coming with me today. He's gonna film some stuff for like promo videos and stuff. So I just like having someone to walk with, to be honest. <laughs> um, so anyways, hopefully I'll be able to put some footage of training in here if he's filming it then. And I need to wear all black, which is a bit boring. So that we all look the same. We have different words for pants. Connor is wearing no pants. I'm wearing pants. <laughs> but by pants, he means underwear. So he's wearing no pants to me, but he's wearing pants to him. <laughs> I just don't understand how they use the word pants for underwear. It's not the same thing. Have you pants, got my, pants. Have you got my LDC top? No, it's mine. No, I've got my I'm pants. I'm not gonna... But have you got my top? No, we've it's lost too... one. Have we haven't lost one, have we? Yeah, that's the whole point. I don't know where it is. It's not! <laughs> so I think we only have one t-shirt and one vest. But I'm not gonna wear my t-shirt to train. It'll be too hot. Out of the door. I hate wearing bows to training, but gotta do what you gotta do for the promo videos, don't you? Okay, it is pretty cute when it's on. It's <laughs> my outfit. Like pros and a little lemon bra. Let's go train. <laughs> Wednesday. I've taken this morning. God, I can't even talk, honestly. My fatigue levels are like insane. Like the past week or so, I have no idea why. Like I genuinely just feel like I could fall asleep right now. On Wednesdays, because I get home so late from training on Tuesday nights, I normally just don't go to the gym in the morning. I go at lunch. So I just like let myself sleep in as late as I can. Like I always just set my alarm for eight o'clock, but I always wake up before then. So I woke up at seven, like 7.13 or something this morning. But why am I so tired? But exciting day today, I and mean, then just work. And then I've got, I'll go to the gym at lunchtime. I'm gonna train upper body, which is fun because I haven't really been doing many upper body sessions recently because I injured my chest. So this is my second upper body session. And I just, it made me realize how much I miss training upper body. It's just so much fun. Anyways, and then tonight me and Connor are going on a little date night. It'll be our first like proper date night since like literally last year. We're going to this restaurant that we just keep walking past and really want to try it's like a sushi japanese place and it the menu just looks incredible so i am very excited for that so just gonna get through the work day and make my coffee try to wake up a bit i'm about to head to the gym so i've put on a cute little matching pink set just to uh give myself a little bit of energy i don't know do bright colors give you energy i don't know i feel like they do <laughs> and i'm gonna train upper body and it's probably gonna be so hot but you gotta do what you gotta do for those gains, don't you? Ugh, I'm back from the gym now. Ooh, that is definitely my address. I just had a parcel come from Boohoo. I ordered it yesterday. Don't you love next day delivery? I just realized like, I just need some summer essentials. Kind of the idea was like we're meant to be going to Greece 
fingers crossed, touch wood, in a month. So I needed a couple of things that as well. So I ordered a new bikini because all my bikinis are so old because I haven't been to the beach in about two years. And when I, I went to the beach on the weekend and I was just like, oh, I just I have one bikini I like. So if I'm going away for the week, I needed more. So I didn't realize this could be so bright, but I actually really love it. It's like a cool ribbed material. Focusing on my face, sorry. So some little like high-waisted-ish or not? I'm not sure. Yeah, they're a little bit high-waisted, but they have like a little bit of a dip in the front. Very small, lucky I don't really have many bo much boobs. Um, and a little top to go with it, so I just have to try them on to make sure they fit. But I really like, oh, the colour is so bright, but I kind of really love it. Imagine how tan that would make you look. Then, I don't know how, but I have gone almost three years living in London without a pair of denim shorts. How have I done that? I don't know. So I got a pair. Ooh, they're a bit long. But actually, they look like they go in at the waist, which is good. I have a big booty, I'm not gonna lie. So I struggle to find shorts like this that fit me, but they do look quite skinny in the waist. So hopefully they'll go over my butt and they'll be okay. I got everything in a size eight UK, which is yeah, the same as Australia because I'd be a size eight in Australia too. Oh yeah, these are cute. I just wanted some like throw on linen-y type shorts. Are they see-through? Oh. They are a little bit see-through. I think you definitely have to wear nude underwear, but they're just like literally, even just like wear around the house and stuff. Cause I don't, I've been kind of wearing my pajama shorts, to be honest, I wore my pajama shorts to a meeting this morning because I don't have any like loose flowy shorts. So I just put on a different top. I really hope no one from work is watching this cause I definitely wore my pajamas to my meeting this morning. Um, so yeah, even just like around the house, but then like perfect grease as well. And then I just saw this, which is not weather appropriate, but I just thought it was so cute. Which yeah, it definitely is. It's a little hoodie, right? But it's like two-toned, so half of it's pink and half of it's blue. And I think it's a bit cropped as well. Yeah, I just think that is so adorable. And I did get that in a medium instead, just to make sure it's a bit oversized, because I don't really like small jumpers. And the very last thing I got... Oh yeah, they're nice. So I only have one pair of slides, but they're like... Quite hard to walk in, to be honest. They always fall off my foot. And like, especially if I go up and down stairs, literally I'm just like walking down the stairs and it would just fall off my foot. So I got these. I got them in a UK four and I'm normally a UK, no, sorry, I'm normally an Australian size six. Oh yeah, they fit perfect. Mm. Can you see? I'm wearing socks, but yeah, they're the right size. You know what? I think this is a successful, sh successful shop. Should I try these on? I might just put them on over the top of my shorts I'm wearing now. Ooh. Oh, will she get it over her booty? Oh no. Oh no. 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 That is not gonna work. My god, why are they so tight? <laughs> Honestly, struggles of someone with a big booty. Okay, actually, I got them on, but like they're not comfortable. They're very tight. Oh yeah, to sit down. That's a no-go. Okay, these will be going back. We will try again with the denim shorts. To be honest, I actually think these would probably fit just in a size 10. They are meant to be mom jeans, so I thought they would be oversized. They are not oversized. Yay, we're all ready for date night. Show your outfit, Condor. Oh, my, baby. my legs hurt from Dom's. <laughs> you look Come cute. at me for fashion advice. We're going to a sushi Japanese place, and honestly, the menu looks insane. So I'll do a little clips of the food we order. <laughs> few things that were left here. Oh my god, it's so sad and empty. We need to give the keys back on Friday. Literally empty. So weird. Good morning and happy Thursday. I just have to be a bit quiet because Connor is still asleep and I don't know how much like voice travels in this flat. 
Um, but I'm just about to do a little check-in. So, God, I would normally take the photos for me, but obviously he's still asleep, so I'm just going to put my phone on my tripod and do that because tomorrow is actually six months since I've been lifting weights. So I kind of want to do a little comparison pic and, like, see where I've got to from there. So... Yeah, I'm just going to do that this morning and then I'm heading off to the gym. We have a lower body day and it's deadlifts. And I obviously ate so much food last night. So I'm hoping that my body is like super energized and I can use those calories for some really, really heavy lifts. So I'm excited. But I need to be quiet because I don't know. I don't want to wake up Connor. <laughs> So it's just arrived. I don't think I told you guys, but I ended up buying an air fryer. Also, the washing machine is on, and I'm really sorry if that's annoying, but I ended up going with a way bigger air fryer than I thought in the end. I ended up getting 5.5 liters. I think it's gonna be really big. But like, God, it was just like, you don't wanna have a small one and then like regret not being able to cook, like just be annoyed and not being able to cook the amount of foods I want. So we went real big. This is the one I ended up going with. Power? Whoa. Oh my god, how do I get it out? It's really big. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, I'm gonna do some reorganization of the kitchen, I think. Now that we have our air fryer, I think that it's gonna go. Sorry, I feel like the kitchen's a mess, but I think it's gonna go in that corner there. Then I need to find somewhere to put all my supplements that I take like daily. Then we're not gonna have the toaster out because we don't use it that often. So that's probably just gonna go in a cupboard and we'll take it out when we use it. Then we have the kettle there, but I'm kind of thinking to move the kettle over here. Sorry about the dishes, Connor hasn't done them yet. Um, so we're gonna get a microwave and the microwave will go there with the blender and the soda stream on top of it. And then the kettle can just go next to it, do we think? I just feel like I wanna have this whole space for like to prepare food because it's like not really that much space and it gets full very quick. So I feel like I'm gonna shuffle that around, do that. I've also got, I just love organizing the cupboards with like boxes. I've got like, oh, that doesn't really work, does it? Okay, we may need to find another place for that. But I've just got literally like shoe boxes and stuff organizing the cupboards and it's just so much easier. So I'm probably gonna, I'm hoping this one will fit. <gasps> yes, there to put all the spreads in. Yep. Okay. the appliances are over there. Perfect! <laughs> I'm so sorry if you're wonky, you're literally just resting in my active wear drawer. <laughs> but it's kind of the perfect height. So it is Thursday night and we have a cheerleading social so I'm just getting ready for that and it has made me realize I have absolutely no clothes. So funny, I swear I looked in my wardrobe like just before we moved and I was like wow I have so many clothes I haven't worn but like I just felt like I didn't have the perfect outfit you know. I don't know, the weather's so weird. It's like really humid, but no sun or anything. Um, so anyways, I went with like a long skirt and a little cropped t-shirt. And that's just gonna have to do because I don't really have that much time. I need to leave in like half an hour. Um, so I'm just gonna quickly do my makeup, but it's really nice. We actually have the day off work tomorrow. They've introduced these like rest and restore days. So they've just literally given us like a few random days off work over the next couple of months. And tomorrow is one of them. So just nice to have the day off. To be honest, that means my working week is done, which is really, just really nice to be honest. Okay, I'm all ready now. I ended up wearing this little black t-shirt and this long skirt. They're both from Nasty Girl and I'm just wearing Nike Air Forces. And hair up in a ponytail because I haven't watched it and I'm going to spin tomorrow and I don't want to wash it tonight. <laughs> That's my outfit. Good morning and happy Friday. Wake, woke up feeling, hmm. Maybe just not as energized as normal. Didn't get home too late last night. It was probably like midnight. But then me and Connor honestly just stayed out for a while talking, so 
I can see your little head. Are you dressed? I am dressed. <laughs> I'm off to go get this sorted out. We're lucky yes. it's Friday, but we both have the day off work. We're going out drinking. <laughs> Connor's going out drinking. I'm going to a spin class and going out for brunch. <laughs> so we're having very different days. <laughs> very different days. <laughs> but I'm going to a spin class with Emma, um, my old housemate, our old housemate. And yeah, that's the day. We're going to like a place in Chelsea, so then we might have to go for a little shop after or something. Don't know, see where the day takes us. Right now, I think I need a little pre-workout for the energy and probably thinking like a bowl of cereal. <laughs> about <laughs> me and Connor Connor is like out with his work friends for drinks tonight um and I think because like me and Connor have a lot of the same friends we often don't like we're always out socializing together so I never really have a night just on my own to be honest so I am like literally so excited I'm gonna try out the air fryer I'm gonna put on YouTube and I'm just gonna have a really good night to myself so I want to try out the air fryer too I'm gonna have some chips Chips like potatoes. I mean, I'll probably just cut them in cubes, not like chip shapes. And then some fish. A little fish and chip kind of thing, I think. I need to figure out how to cook that in the air fryer. Or maybe I'll just do the potatoes in the air fryer and then the fish in the oven, because that just seems like a lot to learn in one go. Homemade potato cubes. 12 to 18 minutes. Jeez. That is really quick. This type of potatoes would take me like over an hour in the oven. All right, got myself a little drink. Not an alcoholic drink, just a fizzy drink, I'm not gonna lie. Me and Emma came home after the um, after we went out for brunch and, oh, I did get some new things from Zara, but maybe I'll show you them tomorrow because I'm probably gonna wear something, one of them tomorrow. And we came home and had a nap. <laughs> and then I just went in to Emma's new flat. Oh no, no. Oh no, I've turned it on, but there's nothing in there. Also, all the things I've left in there. Oh my god. Okay, I'm gonna cut up the potatoes first and then deal with it. Okay, potatoes are in there. Oh, it's on. I can't remember what the setting was. Um, homemade potato cubes. 180 for 12 to 18 minutes. 180. No. Uh, I mean, I want them to be quite crispy. Let's do 16. Whoa, okay, they came out like next level crispy. What the heck? Oh my god. Ow, it's really hot. Okay, I'm just gonna melt some cheese in them because I really want like cheesy potatoes and then we can try them. Okay, I'm gonna try one. Mmm. Yeah, the drink there's absolutely no oil in that. It's actually pretty crunchy. Need a bit more salt though, or flavoring. But all in all, I reckon that's good. Mm mm mm. All right, I'm got my dinner. I'm going to grab this and I'm just go and pop some YouTube on. So I'll probably end the vlog here for tonight. I will see you tomorrow morning. Good morning. It's Saturday morning. I'm just enjoying the sun that comes into our flat in the morning. It is so nice. Um, I'm getting excited. The door pop just went off. It's literally 8.30 in the morning. I was like, that's a bit early for mail, isn't it? Lucky I was actually late. Um, but my... It's my level three um, personal training certificate. How exciting. Like the official one from the... Uh, people who do personal training I don't know um, but this is like yeah the official one and I got my level two like last week so I'm literally all done how exciting I'm so close to finishing my nutrition degree but the case study and a 
exam to do, but you can't do the case study until a certain assignment gets marked, and you can't do the case study until, so you can't do the exam until the case study gets marked, so, but they take like 10 days to get marked, so I'm not going to be able to go ahead to those until like a little while, which is very annoying, so I'm very, very close to being done, but I'm just pretty much waiting on things to be marked now. So yeah, that's that. So this morning, I just got a water bill, which is exciting. Um, this morning, exciting is not exciting. <laughs> Michelle, I haven't really, I haven't woken up properly. This morning, I need to do our food order for tomorrow because I didn't do it yesterday. I always try to do it on Fridays, but I was just busy out having fun, you know, and I didn't want to do it when I got home last night. So I need to get that out of the way this morning. Then I need to get ready quite early um, because I have some content to shoot for hair burst. And then we're going to Bottomless Oysters and Prosecco. Oysters and Prosecco. Bottomless. As much as you want. Is that just not the most amazing thing ever? But then I'm also like, how many oysters can you actually eat? I don't know. I guess I'll have to see. Um, but yeah, we're doing that as a little like house goodbye for, with um, Emma and our old flatmate and Connor as well. So that is our little plan for today, which I'm really excited for. The weather is obviously amazing. Plan of action, food shop, gonna make some breakfast, get ready, content, bottomless brunch. What an exciting day. So I just turned the TV on and like it's just whatever channel is left on from last time I was gonna put YouTube on. But they're advertising cruises. How the hell could a cruise go ahead right now? That is just like literally asking for COVID. People get so sick on cruises. One person brings it on there, literally thousands of people on the cruise would have it. I don't know, I really don't know. Okay, I am all ready. Just finished filming my content that I needed to get done and I have just woken up Connor. He's not in a good way. We will, um, let's go have a look. Have you fallen back asleep? Mm. <laughs> you need to drink your coffee. There's my sausage. I haven't started it yet. I was just finishing my photos. No paparazzi. <laughs> Hey guys, it's Sunday. I don't know why, but I have a lot of energy, which doesn't really make sense because I should be hungover. It is really nice and warm today. I think it's going to be like 28 degrees and it's so sunny. Um, so I need to get outside at some point, but we've just had our Asda, our like um, grocery shop delivery come. So I'm going to quickly do all my food for this week in my fitness pal and then put all that away. And then this is what I got to eat. A tomato garlic flatbread. So that is going in the oven and I'm really hungry because this order was late and I was hanging out. I knew I had that flatbread in there and I was like, no, nope, I need to wait for the order. Um, so yeah, that's the plan. I don't really think anything exciting is going to happen today, to be honest, but I'll check in with you if it does. Also, didn't talk about um, oysters and Prosecco yesterday. <laughs> it's so funny you actually could not eat as much oysters as you think like I was like because oysters are so small right I'm like that's not gonna take up much stomach space like surely I'll be able to eat like heaps we could only eat 15 which I know sounds like a lot but it's not really a lot is it that's like only just a couple more than like a dozen um but the taste just got like really full-on by the end and then when we left I was like I need to eat something else to get this taste out of my mouth so I went and got a bag of Watsits which are like Actually, we don't have them in Australia, do we? They're like, I don't know. We don't really have anything like them. Kind of a bit like a twisty, but you know how twisties are all like bumpy? It's not bumpy, but it's like a cheese flavored thing. Anyway, so we got them. And then we ended up going and seeing Connor's family after that. And then we just had drinks out on the common later on at night because the weather was just amazing. And then, yeah, so I do have quite a few drinks, but I'm just not really that hungover and I don't know why. It is so warm honestly i am loving it i basically feel like i'm back in australia again anyways i just went for a walk to the supermarket because i was like i just want to get out of the house i want to do something and then i was like when i was there i was like you know what i feel like a cheese platter so i've got some cheese i've got some dip, biscuits i think i'm gonna have it with some ham here is what my little cheese platter looks like i have it all portioned out so i could easily track it um and I'm gonna go in the laundry room, eat this, probably start editing this vlog. So I'm going to end it here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed coming along with me on my little week. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.